In class activity two, design a lag lead compensator with a 15% overshoot, one second peak time, and a static error constant KP equal 20 for the control system with the following open loop transfer function. G of S is equal to 10K over S plus one times S plus two times S plus six. And once again, the answers are provided in case you would like to try to solve the problem on your own first. So first, step one, KP is equal to G of zero, which equals 10K over one times two times six, which equals 20. So K is equal to 24. Our next step is to plot the Bode diagram for K equal 24. And this is shown here on the left. Now, from this Bode diagram, we see that the original phase margin is negative 9.61 degrees at omega GC equal to 5.26 radians per second. So zeta would be equal to the square root of the natural log of the percent overshoot divided by pi squared plus the natural log of 0 0.15 squared, because remember POS is equal to 0 0.15. So zeta is equal to 0 0.517. So from here, we can get the desired phase margin which is equal to the arctangent of two over zeta divided by the square root of negative two zeta squared plus the square root of one plus four zeta to the fourth power. So the desired phase margin is 53.17 degrees. Step four, the natural frequency is equal to pi over the time to peak times the square root of one minus zeta squared, which equals 3.67 radians per second. So the bandwidth frequency is equal to omega n times the square root of the quantity one minus zeta squared plus the square root of four zeta to the fourth power minus four zeta squared plus two. So the bandwidth is equal to 4.596 radians per second. And so the new phase margin frequency is equal to 0 0.8 times the bandwidth, which equals 3.676 radians per second. Step five, if we look at the uncompensated Bode diagram, theta is equal to negative 168 degrees at omega PM equal 3.676 radians per second. So we can use this to find phi, our required phase angle. Phi is equal to negative 180 plus theta plus the phase margin plus five, which is negative 12 plus 53.17 plus five. So the required phase angle is 46.17 degrees. Step seven is to use beta to find phi. So beta is equal to one plus sine phi over one minus sine phi, beta is equal to 6.179. Step eight is to use the, use the new phase margin frequency to find Z lag. So Z lag is equal to 0 0.1 omega P sub M, which is 0 0.3676 radians per second, which is also equal to one over T lag. Step nine, 
P lag is equal to Z lag divided by beta or one over beta T lag, which equals 0 0.059 radians per second. Step 10 is to find alpha, which is equal to one over beta, which is 0 0.162. Step 11 is to find Z lead, which equals omega P sub M times the square root of alpha, which is 1.48, and that's also equal to one over T lead. And step 12 is to find P lead, which equals Z lead over beta, because that's equal to one over beta T lead, which equals 9.133. And finally, GC of S is equal to S plus 0 0.368 over S plus 0 0.059, that's the lag compensator, times S plus 1.48 over S plus 9.133. That's the lead compensator. Finally, let's examine the compensated Bode diagram and the step response before and after compensation. So here we have the compensated Bode diagram and we do see the effects of the lag and lead compensator here. And the most important thing we see is that we now have a new phase margin of 60.6 .6 degrees at 3.26 radians per second. So our new phase margin is right here and notice that it meets our design requirement in that it is close to a gain cost over frequency of 3.676 radians per second. And then down here at the bottom, we have our step response. And just as in the prior activity, what we notice is that the original system was actually unstable and that the compensated system actually now is stable in that it does crudely follow a step input. And this concludes today's lecture on phase lag and lead compensation.